This is our third sunset at a winery. Um, we've been invited into people's uh, homes. Uh, we've had to haul boxes around, cases of wine around. Um, uh, we've uh, just experienced a lot of interesting things uh, making the film so far. And um, we're waiting outside of a winery for a midnight tasting uh, that's going to be presented to about 15 bloggers that we met at this wine conference. You know, and we're three days into our adventure here, and for me, you know, I think I'll be the one that grows the most out of this. I am a wine illiterate, basically. I know nothing about wine. It's really kind of opened my mind, and I have also uh, slept in a, you know, a, a roach-filled motel for, you know, basically 20 bucks a night, and tried tongue at a taco truck um, so that you know for me that's part of this you know I'll, we all want to make a good finished end product but me it's kind of that personal growth and the experiences all the winemakers we met so far are amazing I'd love to have them move back to Corvallis with us and you know be everyday pals um, you know one of the guys he invited us into his into his house and we you know had drinks on his front porch as we talked like we were old friends, you know, and we just met him a couple hours before, so I don't know if that's, you know, that might be this part of the spirit of, of winemakers, you know, hardworking but still friendly and, and open to share their lives with the world. And it's been an interesting experience, and the, the great thing is the way that uh, by sharing these folks' stories, um, you kind of get invited into their lives for a while. So it's like the hospitality that they're showing and the willingness that they are to kind of show you behind the scenes and behind the process that having a camera is a lot like um, having sort of a passport into other people's lives. So we're making the most of it.